the second inning. Here's Chris Davis. To say he needs a hit would be a monstrous understatement. He's 0 for 23 this year, dating back to last year. He's 0 for his last 44. Major League record is 0 for 46. That ball's ripped to right field. Right there is Piscotti, and he's got it for the out. 0 for his last 45. Here comes Chris Davis, and the crowd comes to life trying to cheer on their Chris Davis to something special. Line drive left field, falling, falling, and in the glove of Robbie Grossman. It hung up there just long enough for him. So two hard hit balls off the bat of Davis, and he's 0 for 2. He just can't buy a hit. My gosh. He just can't. He is 0 for his last 46. Part of the story has been Chris Davis, who is 0 for 2. Fly out to right, line out to left. He's hit the ball well, but he is still in search of his first hit. The pitch from Petit. Davis swings, ropes it to left field. Grossman goes back in front of the wall. He makes the catch. Chris Davis hits another ball about as hard as he's hit one all year, and yet Grossman makes the catch, and that seals an unfortunate bit of history for Davis, who is now 0 for his last 47. And now here's Chris Davis, and the Orioles fans are going to rise to their feet. Everybody has a hit except for Rickard and Davis. Everybody has reached base besides Davis. The one thing left to close his day out, right? Trying to put one more bit of sweet icing on the cake. One, two. And he swings and misses at a ball in the dirt. The throw to first by Hundley is there. Morales tags the base. Davis 0 for 5. The lone Oriole not to reach base in the game. Everyone else has. Davis, who is still looking for his first hit of the year, and the fans are definitely behind him. Center field, Loriano is back on it, back on it, and makes the catch. Takes a big hit away from Davis. Whoever you are, wherever you are, you can take your pins out of the voodoo doll now. Another well hit ball by Chris Track down, and the inning comes to an end. And that will bring Chris Davis to the plate. It's down one nothing. Simeon at second, and a swing and a long quad to deep left center. Back on it is Smith to the track at the wall, and it is gone. Just clears the wall, didn't even jump at the wall to Dwight Smith, and that's home run number eight. Chris Davis, your current Major League home run leader with a salute around third base. He scores Simeon, and it's 2-1 Oakland. Go ahead, run at the plates. They're looking for his first hit of the year. Strike three called on the outside corner. Change up on the outer half. Davis goes down. Look. One of the many reasons oh. that one's hit to left, and that one is going to lead the ballpark. Indeed, a hanger. And Chris Davis deposits that one into the left field bleachers. So the A's with a 1 0 lead. left center field that ball's hit a ton and it's way back and gone wow that thing was hit a long way by Chris Davis who has big time power to me he's one of the more fascinating guys in the American League fly ball right hit well each roll back at the wall and it's gone and that is why he is such a fascinating guy just five foot ten a huge swing, 14th home run of the season for Chris Davis. Yeah, and power to all fields. Think back to last night, double the other way. Two and two, the count. Ramirez at third, and Davis launches one. Deep right center. That is way back and gone. Chris Davis with a two-run home run. And he puts the Brewers back on top. This kid is on fire. Well, he made a mistake out over the plate, and Davis smokes it out of here to right center. 
Uh, no cheapy there and no data to write. Two records set at Camden Yards last night. Both were something the team would have rather avoided. Chris Davis now holds the Major League Baseball record for longest hitless streak, going without a hit in his last 49 at bats, dating back to last year. Davis lined out to left field in the bottom of the fifth inning for the record breaking out. He also lined out and struck out twice on the night. And he did it in front of a record setting audience. Last night, there were 6,585 people in attendance. That's the lowest for any game at Camden Yards in which fans were admitted to the stadium according to the Baltimore Sun's John Mioli. But all of this and the team actually got back to the 500 mark with a 12-4 win on the night.